All right, our next topic in MySQL is controlling the number of records that we get back. So when we run a select statement, how many records are we going to get back and how can I control that number or select a specific range from my result set? Now, if you've been following along, you've already got the tables and everything set up, great. Um, if this is the first video you're watching, this is the link right here. I'll put this in the description. You can download this and then you can import this SQL. Uh, so if you've got PHP MyAdmin or if you're running MySQL Workbench, great. Um, create a database called Movies and then go to your import. Click on Choose File. Choose the file that you downloaded as the code gist. That SQL file. Um, and that SQL file, when you run it, will create these two tables, genres and movies, with these columns inside of it. So we have all of that inside of here. Now I'm going to jump into the movies table for this one. We're going to look at all this data, movie ID, title, director, year, and genre, and we're going to try to control what records that we get back from this list. I'm going to use the movie ID as my reference point. Because these are sequential numbers, it's easy to see which ones we're getting back. So I will include these in all the records that we get back from our select statements. All right, so let's jump in here. Select star from movies. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit more specific. I'm going to say I'm going to get the movie ID and I want to get the movie title just to keep this simple from movies. Okay, I run that and this is the result I'm going to get just with the limited number of columns. Movie ID, movie title. Great. Okay, so there we are. We've got 1 through 24 are the movie IDs that we're using. If I want to limit that, this is the keyword, limit. I can say I only want to get 10 records back. That's it. That's all you have to do. Then I'm going to get 10 records back. There they are. Movie ID, movie title. Now, if I wanted to say, let's include the year here so we can see what's going on. Um, we can see that the years jump all over the place here. What if I wanted to get the 10 most recent movies? So looking at the years, I want to be getting stuff that's in like 2007 up, something like that. So we'll edit this statement. We're going to say where year is greater than, or let's say greater than or equal to 2007. There we go. So year, it's 2007 or up, and I want to get 10 of them. Well, let's delete this for now to see how many we get. All right, there we go. So two, four, six, eight, nine. All right, we get nine of them. So I want to get the five most recent ones. So let's see, the 16, 12, 14, uh, 10, and 13. There we go. Those are the ones that we're going to get. So we're going to order by year. And just to be clear, we're going to say ascending. There we go. Now they're sorted by year, like that. And I want to get these ones right here. I want to get these top five. So the five most recent out of our list. With all of this done, if I say limit five, go. Okay, I got the older ones. So I want to change my sort order so that the most recent ones are at the top of my list. So I'll change this from ascending to descending. And there we go. Now I have five records and I know for a fact that these are the most recent ones in my list. So the where, that did the filtering, the order by did the sorting, put the ones that I wanted at the top of the list, and then five tells me how many. Okay, great. So that's limit with one number there. But there's another version of limit where you can specify two things. With limit, we can specify what record to start at as well as how many we want to get. So let's go back. Let's go back to the full list. We'll get rid of our where and we'll order it by movie ID, which is the default, but just to be clear about what we're doing, I'll say limit 15. Go. There we go. So I've got the numbers 1 through 15. Those are all the records that we're getting. Now let's say 
we've created a website and we're going to be paging the results, which means on the first page, I'm going to show records one through five. The second, I'm going to show six through 10. On the third, I'm going to throw 11 through 15. I want to break that up into different steps. Well, limit is how we're going to do that. With limit, I can say five. Okay, great. I'm getting five records. But more than that, I want to say, I want five, but I want to start at number six. So starting at number six, get five records or five rows. You can say either one like that. And this is how you write a, a comment in SQL, by the way, is two hyphens and then a space. That's going to be your comment. And there we go. Oh, sorry, starting after number six is what this is. There we go. So if we change that to five, go, there we are. So starting after number five, get five records. For the third page, starting after number nine, get five records. Or after 10, get five records. That'll be the third page. There we are, 11 through 15. That's the third set. You want to get the fourth page. After number 15, get five records. There we go. After 20, get five. Now we only had 24, remember? This isn't going to cause an error though. This will work. It just gets up to five records. So starting at after this number, get up to this many records as long as there's that many available. So starting, I should say after number X, get Y records. So this is going to be limit X, Y, or we can just say limit and then that number like that. So those are the two ways of using limit to control the number of records that you're going to get back inside of any SQL statement. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.